Hello everyone, and welcome to a kind of a strange unboxing I have here on Player One Start. So I'm hoping that this package is a fantasy and not a horror show, because <laughs> I decided to order this online. I think I got a good deal for it. The seller was very gracious and accepted my price for it, but if you notice, as I press down on the corner here, this is how it came from the shipper. You can see directly into the box. I mean, just look at that. So every time this box has been set like that, finally got apart. It looked like at one point they had tried to tape it, but it came apart. So I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna run into here. You may hear some tears in the background because of course you can't see me. Oh, let's get this over with. Let's see what's in the box. Let's see what's in the box! So first off, this is packed very nicely. Otherwise, they have enough bubble wrap in here to keep it from moving around, so that's good. This may give you a hint of what I got, but this is the controller. This appears to be a power adapter. It looks kind of like a network plug. We'll see what this is. Oh. A stack of discs for the Philips Compact Disc Interactive. I'm getting excited now that I see the games. Another stack of discs. A third stack of discs, this time in the long cases. A fourth stack of discs, again in long cases. This is the remote control, which if I remember was not very suited for playing games, but we'll figure that out here in a second. And here is the console. Yeah, look at this box. Just completely and utterly broken in that corner. Everything could have come sliding out, but thankfully it did not. I hope that nothing in here is damaged. Let this be a lesson to people who do shipping. Please, please, more tape is always better than less tape. All right, let's start unboxing some of these things here. So the first thing I got is this is a stack of discs. Some of these are games, and I think some of these are just media. This is Kether. Came in the box. Whoops, Media Interactive France. Huh. See how the disc looks. Eh, not in too bad a shape. Some fingerprints, some scratches, that should work. I also got Merlin's Apprentice. A puzzling tale of magical adventure. Can you solve all 30 mind-boggling challenges? This is a game. Voyeur, don't get caught. This one was highly recommended. I see a lot of people who are trying to sell this game. International Tennis Open. It's a two-player game. A visit to Sesame Street Numbers. Another stack. Pinball. Compton's Interactive Encyclopedia, which I believe comes with every one of the ones I saw online. I'm assuming parents bought it. Yeah. Special offer, not for retail sale. I bet you this was packed into a lot of these to make them seem more educational, less game-like. Chaos Control. Oh, this one's got a rating on it. K to A. Jeopardy. The Berenstein Bears on their own. And The Cream of Clapton. This is a CDI, not a... Uh, that's just an audio CD. I bet you there's some music video type stuff on here. Now, some of the stuff I actually got beforehand. Uh, these come with slip covers. I found these in store just recently. Prompted me to actually get the CDI. This is Rand McNally's America. This is also another common find. Kind of like an interactive atlas. But a lot of these games would come with these little slip covers. And fortunately, these came with their own. So I got that one. As well as Little Monster at School. Third Degree Interactive Game Show, The Joker's Wild Jr., 
And this looks like another copy of Berenstain Bears on their own. So the other one I bought in a lot, and this I bought before I got the lot. So anyway, then I also got these ones. And this is a secondary style of it. These are these long cases. This is NFL Football Trivia Challenge. Probably won't play this one too much because I'm not very good at this. Comes with the manual, the disc, and I mean, if I'm right, this is an advertisement. Yeah, this is an advertisement for the CD High Library. It's bigger than the actual manual. So it shows all the games. Ooh, I should try to get Connect 4. Battleship. And all sorts of stuff. And I also got Mother Goose's Rhymes to Color. Battleship. <gasps> what? It didn't come with the disc. Oh, that's right, because at that store, I also got another copy of Battleship that has the slipcover and actually has the disc. Not sure why, so I'm going to have to start checking all of these and see which one has the discs. Video Speedway. This one feels heavy. The Palm Springs Open, which has instructions and has the disc. Then I also got Jigsaw. Looks like disc is included. Power hunt, a power hitter. CD shoot, although unfortunately I don't have a gun yet for it, so I'll have to get that later. Backgammon with the disc. And looks like textiles. Which this was also a very common title that I've seen everywhere, and the disc is in there. But then at that store I also got Richard Scarry's Busiest Neighborhood Ever disc, Tell Me Why Volume 2. Cartoon Jukebox, Tell Me Why Volume 1, Treasures from the Smithsonian, and Escape from Cyber City. Let me get all these in there and get rid of the duplicates. So overall, this is everything that I've got for the Philips CDI. That is a lot. Um, most of this came in one lot, but then the rest came in a trip to a retro game store that I just came across recently, and wow. <laughs> Didn't expect to collect so much of this stuff so soon. I'm assuming there's like a flood of this stuff just hitting the market lately, but anyway, that's all the games. Let's go ahead and take a look at the hardware and see if any of that was damaged. All right, let's check out the controller. So yeah, here's the controller, and I'm told it works, but it's been kind of spliced here. And this was very evident on the pictures. I knew about this coming in, so this is not due to damage. I think this wire's gonna need to be wrapped with electrical tape. I might do that now. So yeah, that looks a little bit better. There's no exposed wire anyway. I'm gonna see if I can get that reinforced just a tad. So that's the quick and dirty fix, but eventually I'll get that better. Anyway, that's the controller. And here's this little remote. Here's the power supply. Two prong. This is supposed to be the US model, and it looks like it is. So this is supposed to be the US model, and I think it is for indoor use only. Use only with the CDI. 100, 200 volts AC, yep. So that should be good, 28 watts. But the interesting thing is, is the power connector it uses. Yep, that's an RJ45 style jack. That is like modern ethernet cable. All right, and as promised, let's see what happened to the console. There it is, folks. So yeah, interesting thing, one controller port. Good. Regular composite out. There's your put in. What's this thing? DC out. What does that go to? This thing is designed very interestingly. It's got that. You just click it and that should pull right up. Oh yeah. Well, the good news is there's no loose pieces inside. It looks like it's going to work. So here it is, folks. This is everything that came in the box. Very happy to see this fine turn out. So this is the result of one huge order off of eBay and the uh, trip to a retro game store that happened to have some CDI games. Usually I would have you guys wait to a video to see if this works, but I am too tempted. I'm gonna try this out now. So let me go ahead and get this hooked up and we'll see if it works. Let's see if this thing works. Here's something interesting. How does it power on? Is it a controller? 
Oh, there's a switch here. Let's see. Nope. That's not it. Ah. Power switch is on the side. Well, there's life. Well, that may not be working. Yeah, here. Let's try this again. I don't even hear the drive spinning. Oh, we got some life. It's got storage. very good signs of life here. So unfortunately it doesn't look like it's working at the moment, but I'm gonna keep messing around with it. Well unfortunately, after messing around with it for a few weeks, I was not able to get this console to work. It is most likely the CD drive that was damaged during shipping. But thankfully I was able to get reimbursed through the seller for the missing battleship disc, the controller that didn't work at all, and for the damage to the disc drive I got reimbursed from the post office. However, my problem now is I have all of these CDI games, but not a console to play them on. But for now, I guess I'm going to have to keep an eye out for a new console until I can get one that works. But that said, I guess that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Retro Game Finds, even though it ended up being mostly a warning about buying stuff online. Stay tuned because I have more content coming, and I'll see you in the next one. If you like this video and you'd like to help out with future projects on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Also, if you enjoy the content of this channel, please remember to click on this subscribe button. Again, I want to thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.